Hello and happy day. How does slowing down sound to you today? Would you like to reduce the noise for just a bit? Are you ready to make a choice and decide to listen? My name is Igor, SF Walker. I'm here to remind people to slow down, to reduce the noise, to walk their lives into a natural flow. Welcome back to the Book of the Week series. Every week, as I read another amazing title, I share it with the world. And today we look at Things My Son Needs to Know About the World by Frederick Backman. All we want is to protect you, to save you from life's disappointments and shortcomings and unhappy romances. We actually haven't got a clue what we're really doing. Having kids is in many ways like trying to drive a bulldozer through a china shop with broken legs, wearing a back-to-front ski mask while drunk. But we're gonna try, damn it, because we want to be the best parents we ever could be, that's all. Play, learn, grow up, follow your passions, find someone you love and do your best. Be kind when you can and tough when you need to be. Hold on to your friends and don't go against the direction of the painted arrows in the floor. You'll be just fine. Also, find someone who doesn't love you for the person you are, but despite the person you are. If you decide to devote all your time to that thing they do in the Olympics where they run about on a mat in a gym hall accompanied by the Titanic soundtrack, waving two sticks with that kind of a ribbon you use to wrap presents with at each end, I'll come to every bloody training session. You know, it's not easy to teach you what a man is. Masculinity changes. That's the whole idea. It's almost impossible even to discuss it with other adults. For a society that constantly claims we shouldn't make any distinctions between men and women, we sure spend an awful lot of time defining exactly what those differences are. The discussion can get confusing, and by that I don't mean confusing in the same way as when they've moved everything around in our local convenience store again. And I'm thinking that if you ask why are there wars of 10 randomly chosen people, at least half of them will say something like, well, you know, all wars are basically about religion, like everyone knows that. So I'm thinking, as we're here talking about wars, that maybe I should tell you a little something about God too. I will never tell you whether you should be religious or not or even if you should believe in God. That's a thing between God and you, or not. See, God is incredibly important to people, particularly to the people who don't actually believe in God. In my experience, no one wants to talk to you as much about God as the people who claim they absolutely do not want to talk to you about God. And sooner or later, later, one of them will stare at you and ask, but if God exists, then why are there wars? I hope you won't be angry at me for still trying to impress you. You and your mother are my greatest, most wonderful, scariest adventure. I'm amazed every day that you still let me follow along. So always remember, whenever I'm difficult, whenever I'm embarrassing, unreasonable, unfair. Just think back to that day when you refused to tell me where the hell you'd hidden my car keys and never forget that you started this. Please do help out. It's easy. Simply like this video so more people can enjoy it. Share it too and spread the word. Subscribe to my channel and stay up to date. And the link to this book is in the description below. So buy it and read. Never stop learning. Thank you. Love and respect.